Good morning, CBC family and friends. It's Saturday morning. Hope you had a great week this week. Uh, enjoy today. Enjoy that day off if you're able to. I want to bring you a word of encouragement this morning. Obedience and happiness. Obedience and happiness. You want a happy life? You need to obey the Lord. We're going to talk about that this morning. John chapter 13, verses 14 through 17. Just want to share a couple of scriptures with you today. It says, If I then, your Lord and Master, have washed your feet, ye also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that ye should do as I have done to you. Verily, verily, I say unto you, The servant is not greater than his Lord, neither he that is sent greater than he that sent him. If ye knew these things, happy are ye, if ye do them. Listen, there's been a false belief going around for a very, very long time that happiness can be found if we just get one more, bigger, better thing. Maybe a a different job, maybe a shiny newer car, maybe a better paycheck, even maybe a better church. It's been going around since the beginning of time with the Garden of Eden, that false belief. We see there in the Garden a world with no sin. Adam and Eve given really one command of God to stay away from that forbidden fruit. Yet they looked upon it, they desired it, and then they ate of it. Even in that perfect environment, we see them choosing to disobey God, thinking that it would bring happiness. I want to share with you this morning that lasting happiness is never found in doing things that God commands us not to, or even God forbids us to do. Lasting happiness is found when we obey Him. How are you obeying the Lord? Are you in the Scriptures? Are you reading the Word? Are you spending time with Him in prayer? Are you sharing the Gospel? Are you desiring to be that testimony, that light? in this world that he wants you to be? Are you finding reasons to disobey? Are you finding excuses not to do what God has told you and I to do? Listen, it's never lasting happiness disobeying the Lord. Fact is, it really brings a lot of grief. John R. Rice said, this uh, thought, and I wanted to share that with you today. He said, sin in the Christian brings the smiting of the conscience. It brings the rebuke of the Holy Spirit. No Christian can be a happy Christian, except as he day by day seeks to live in the smile of God's approval. Godly living does not earn salvation but it does bring happiness. Isn't that true? We know we can't earn our way to heaven. That's been paid for by that precious blood and sacrifice of Jesus Christ. But we ought to obey. We ought to desire to please God, show him we love him by our obedience to him. When we trust God and follow his commands, we reap the benefit of joy and peace and happiness in our life, serving a God that will never fail us. So this morning, how are you obeying? You want a happy life? Obey the Lord. Let's pray together. Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you that we can come together and have this time of scripture. Lord, you've challenged my heart, and I hope these that are watching today, that Lord, we wouldn't just look for new things in our life, look for things that 
we desire, that we long for. But God, we know that true happiness comes from being obedient to you. Help us, Lord, not to seek after the things this flesh desires, but help us seek after godly things, the things that you have set forth in your word, that we would show you how much we love you by obeying you. Be with each one today. Give us the strength. We thank you for the tools you've equipped us with. Now it's our responsibility, Lord, to obey you. Be with each one now this, today, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Obedience and happiness go hand in hand. Obey the Lord today, my friend. Have a great afternoon, and God bless you today.